What I want to cover in this quick lesson is transferring your drawing onto watercolour paper. Quite often you'll download a printable or a template drawing and whilst it's great to have as a resource it's not the perfect paper to be painting on and you're not maybe confident in freehand drawing yet or you don't want to be spending hours erasing and drawing and erasing and you don't want to use indented lines on your paper or leave those indented lines. So I want to run through a tool that you can use. Okay, so you've printed out your printable or your template. And here we've got the spring wreath that we're going to be using. Take a piece of tracing paper. Okay, so a regular piece of tracing paper and a piece of masking tape. Now with masking tape, stick it to your trousers first. Reason being is you want to take off the excess sticky. Even low tack masking tape is too sticky and it will take off the top surface of your paper. Use a hard pencil. Okay, so we're using the Derwent Graphic and with an H. And H stands for hard. You don't want to use a soft pencil for this. If you're right-handed, start from the left-hand side. If you're left-handed, start from the right-hand side. So you're not smudging the graphite under your hand. Okay, so start on the left-hand side. And you'll probably remember this from your school days. And just go over the lines of the picture underneath. You don't want to do it too, too faint. We don't want to be doing it too hard. Just nice, clear, neat lines. Now I hinged it at the top because if you get to a place where you can't quite see it, lift it up and look underneath. If you'd stuck it at all four corners, you wouldn't have been able to do that. So look at it, lay it back down and just check. Make sure your pencil stays nice and sharp. If it goes dull, give it a quick sharpen. See, I can't, can't quite see that. So I just lift it up to have a check. Now some papers you can run through your printer at home. Some watercolor papers can run through your printer but they will still cockle or they will still buckle and you might want to stretch your paper so this is a good way of transferring your image or if you want to use a block onto your finished paper it may be that you've done a preparatory sketch and you're happy with your layout and you want to take that sketch and put it on your finished paper. So this is a tool in which you can do that. Okay, it doesn't have to be thought of as cheating. You mustn't think that. This is a, a tool to enable you to get it onto your finished piece of paper. Okay, so you would carry on here, going all the way around, working your way around slowly, making sure 
that you've got all the bits in that you want. When you're finished, lift it up and check. Okay, so this is the important bit. Take off your masking tape. Turn your template over so you've got a piece of white paper underneath. It has to be white paper. Reverse your tracing paper. So you've got the reverse side. And again, I want you to stick it down with masking tape. And this time, I'd like you to take a 2B, a Derwent Graphic 2B. B stands for black. Okay, so that's a soft pencil. Again, if you're right-handed, I want you to start from the left-hand side. The reason why we're using a 2B is we want to use the softer graphite on the back because so we're going to use it to transfer the image onto our finished paper. Now you may remember in school, we used to scribble on the back. That's not what we want to do because you lose your lines and you lose your clarity. Plus you can always keep your tracings and your layouts for another time. Because as I say, we're using this as a tool So we want to make sure our lines are always staying nice and crisp. And we don't want to be scribbling away. Yes, it's labour intensive, but it's definitely worth it taking the extra time. Okay, so if we hadn't had the masking tape at the top, it would have slipped. Okay, so you can make sure your pencil is nice and sharp. You don't want a blunt thick line. Right, so we have our graphite on the reverse side. Remember, this is the reverse side. What you can always do is always put a, an R on the top corner so you know it's the reverse. Because it can be confusing. Okay, take that away. Now, this is the watercolour paper. I want my finished piece on. It's 300 GSM, 140 pound, cold press watercolour paper. This is too thick to go through any printer at home. There's no way I could get this through a printer. So I want to transfer my image to it. Right. So my tracing paper is bigger than it. So on this occasion, what I'm going to do is I'm going to fold my tracing paper and slide it down to make sure 
I can fit it on the paper and still tape it down. It's really important to tape it. You don't want it slipping all over the place. Remember to stick your tape to your trousers. Now the pencil we're going to use, we're going to go back to our H pencil, the hard, not the soft, the soft goes on the back. Go back to your left side if you're right-handed. Be firm, not hard, but firm. And you're going to draw over the lines. Again, we don't want to scribble because what scribbling will do is make furrows and indentations into the cold pressed paper. And then your ink tens or your paint will settle into those furrows and make ugly pools of colour. Work your way across the tracing so you know where you are. Use this finger as a guiding finger. Hand-eye coordination. So you can follow where you've been, where you're going. It's a good habit to keep up with. And then because we hinged it, we'll be able to lift it up in a second. Just to check we haven't missed any lines. So it's nice and neat. And because we haven't scribbled, we'll be able to use this again and again. If we so desired, you can keep them on file. A lot of people keep their tracings on file. Okay, so lift it up and just draw in any areas which haven't quite come through in the tracing. And as you can see, it's nice Neat line, perfect for painting with, on a cold pressed watercolour paper, which you wouldn't be able to get through your printer. And there's one line I've really missed here. If I hadn't hinged that and lifted it up, I wouldn't have spotted that at all. Okay, so that's one tool of how you can get your printables and your outlines onto your paper. In the excess graphite, just take it off with an eraser. Just 
tidy it up. 